this new plan that, look, two senators really surprised Mitch McConnell and the White House last night coming out with those tweets, Jerry Moran uh, and Mike Lee. And Mitch McConnell almost immediately announces this new strategy. It did not last past the noon hour. Now Republican senators gathered behind closed doors for lunch. I had one source tell me that that meeting was going to be explosive, and that was before we heard from Senator Murkowski, who is the third Republican today to come out and say that she doesn't want to participate in this plan of action. Take a look at what she had to say to my colleague Garrett Hake just a little bit earlier. Senator, where are you on the motion to proceed on this repeal and then replace? Uh, I'm not there. Not there? Nope. You would vote against the motion to proceed? I said in January we should not repeal without a replacement, and just an indefinite hold on this just creates more chaos and confusion. Thanks, Senator. And that chaos and confusion, Chris, as we try to, to sort out how this might happen, we know that there's not enough Republican votes for a straight repeal, and the way that McConnell had proposed to do this basically open debate on the House bill, add that repeal as an amendment, that would go down, that would leave the, the Senate debating health care with no clear uh, overarching strategy. Uh, no one that I talked to this morning was quite sure what McConnell was going to say to them behind closed doors. Uh, and Roy Blunt, a member of the leadership, essentially said what we heard the president say. He said, look, we think we're headed towards a normal committee process where we have to start getting 60 votes for things. I mean, maybe that helps explain the president's tweet about changing the filibuster, because the reality is all of this health care conversation has not been around that 60 vote threshold. It's been around the 50 vote threshold. So perhaps they are at the point where they're having conversations uh, very seriously about needing to do things with 60 votes. That requires Democrats and a wholesale change in strategy from what the Republicans have spent the first six months of their term governing in the White House and the Congress. Chris, uh, at this point, not a lot to show for it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.